everyone, welcome back to today's video. So, I've been um, at a conference this past weekend, and while I was at this conference, God really laid it on my heart to read through the Gospel of Mark on this channel. And so here's how it's going to go um, for the next several days and several weeks. Um, I'm actually going to be reading a chapter a day from the book of Mark, and every chapter what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to read from the chapter, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to provide any commentary. I'm not going to provide any kind of teaching. I'm just going to read straight through the Gospel of Mark. And I just kind of see this right now as a tool to be able to help someone that maybe they're looking for someone to read the Bible with. Maybe they're looking for someone to read the Bible to them. Maybe they're looking for just another way to have someone interact with them as they're reading God's Word. If that's you, I encourage you, if there's a specific passage that God's talking to you about, I want you to pause the video and spend some time and meditate on those verses. And you can obviously go back and re-watch these videos as much as you need. But that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of these videos in this series, uh, which I guess I'll call Reading Through the Bible. And so I hope you enjoy, and let's pray before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the ways that you just blessed us. I thank you for the reading of your word. I thank you for the ways that you're just going to touch people's lives through this. I thank you for the ways that you are just going to speak to people that need to be able to hear your word in specific passages from the book of Mark. I thank you for the words that will be spoken, and I thank you, Father, for the ways that you're just going to use me to speak to people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Alright, so, Mark chapter 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, There comes one after me who is mightier than I, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, you are well, sorry, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness, and he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, this is the time, sorry, this Sorry, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little farther from there, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were all who also were in the boat mending their nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants, and they went after him. Sorry, and went after him. Then they went into Capernaum, and he immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Now there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? 
What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. Now as soon as they had come out of the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife, mother, lay sick with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she served them. At evening, when the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon-possessed, and the whole city was gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he did not allow the demons to, see, to speak because they knew him. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before the daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogue throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him, and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand, and touched him, and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him, and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him and sent him away at once, and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone. But go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. However, when he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the matter, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city, but was outside in deserted places, and they came to him from every direction. And that concludes our reading for today. Um, this, like I said, is going to be a part of a series for reading through the book of Mark. Um, I pray that this is helpful for you. And I will have Mark chapter 2 uploaded tomorrow. And I'll see you all then. Be blessed.